Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. So whenever you're in combat, I would like for this not to be on you. Maybe you're just traveling, it's fine. Okay, sounds good. Kill them. Kill them all. Alright, good. We have recovered. We got jacked. Anybody jacked? No. Nope. Everyone's kind of fine. It's good. Let's see. Silvershade, you've got food in your bag, right? Yeah, let's just go. Sounds fine to me. Ugh. And... We don't want to bother with the hivers, so let's make our way over to... I guess we can go down here. If we run into beak things right now, we can take them down. If we run into them later, easily take them down. Hmm. Oh yeah, some dried gristle clats. Got a hankering for them. Now, the main benefit of playing a Hiver is that we don't have to worry about acid at all. So we can just wear Samurai Plate all the time. Instead of needing to swap it out for some other form of acid resistance. Which is absolutely fantastic. Let's see, how fast are we moving? 27s, 13s, 12s. Ooh, 12s. Those are the good things. How fast is your how fast is your strength going up? Relatively quickly. And that's what I like to see. As their strength increases, they will get stronger. So we're looking over there. That's that stack, right? No, that's the hub. Good. We want to go over there. So let's make our way over to the hub. What in the world? Just one big batholith? Oh, like a batholith that was carved? It's just a big rock. A bath A big list of hive, yes, I know. Okay. Oh no, it's a griot. A grillo. It wants some. So here's the thing. Animals. We don't want to fight them where we can get hit by their AoEs. So, now get him. Take him down. Chop him to pieces. Silver shit. Unequip. Good. Kill him. Ow. Who's he targeting? Chip. Chop him to pieces. Take him down. Cut him down. Yes, hey, beep wins. Beep is the strongest. The hell, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. All right, so let's see. Let's take one of the. Well, we don't need. Ooh, I have an idea that is hilarious. Let's first aid him. Great. Now let's have Sil let's have Silver Shade pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take our pet gorilla <laughs> into the hub. Oh wait, it's a gorilla, right? Gorillas are dangerous, right? Ooh, they fight hard. I mean, if we were if we were Greenlanders, we'd just take the gorilla and carry him off to like stack or something, and have him go um, gorilla poop. I guess if we don't, want, if we would like to stay monetized, and uh, <laughs> wreck some people. Beep. 
Alternatively, these guys aren't very good at fighting. You must not be here. No. Quick, go. What? Now watch we go. We attack the Western Hive. <laughs> we, we abduct the Queen. Oh no, a Grillo friend. You guys want to see something hilarious? Did I ever think you guys are getting me out of that pot in the swamp? Yeah, I think you have, actually. Uh, yeah, she made a wager with the cactus. <gasps> we could find dust bandits? And then drop the gorilla on the dust bandits? And then he attacks the dust bandits? And then we mop up what's left? <laughs> And then we um, finish them all off. All right, Silver Shade, you've got your um, so everybody can eat. Is that Grillo awake again? Uh, yes, yes, he is awake. That's good. I have a, I have a plan. You know, we could probably go kill the Gust, the Dust King, right now. <laughs> Just annihilate him. <laughs> <laughs> let's save the let's save him for a little bit longer. How far can we get this gorilla? Can we take him all the way to the UC? <laughs> oh, oh! I just thought we take the gorilla, we put him in a prison cell. So when a guard comes and releases the gorilla, the gorilla grabs the guard and twists his head off. <laughs> then we loot the guard. <laughs> Be fantastic. Okay, so we want to go to the Deadlands. So let's head over that direction. It is the path we want to take. As our Grillo friend gets fully healed. You're ugly. Why is his jaw just completely unhinged? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We can do this. We've got this. Also, how's your strength coming along? 39. <laughs> Nine. Okay, sounds good. Everyone's strength is actually getting up there, which is nice. Let's see, what does perception actually do for you? How do we... Okay, I was going to say, uh, fix all the accuracy of range attacks. Right. Now, gorillas, most animals are immune to acid, by the way. Oh, well, I've got an idea, guys. <laughs> Who's got the gorilla? Let's put him down. Hehehehe. <laughs> Or are they going to loot him? Oh, this one's got food. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry, Starving Bennets. You've got this. You can take him down. I have faith in you. Oh, who's going to win? The Wounded Gorilla or the Hungry Bear? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. E oh, 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 come on, guys. You've got it. You can do this. No, really, you can. Oh, come on, come on, guys. Take him down. Take down that gorilla. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 
Oh. Oh no. Uh, move that. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. You got this. I think. Uh. You got this. Don't worry. You can do this. You can do it. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. Good job, Grillo. You show those bandits who's boss. Now eat them. <laughs> you did it! Okay, well, let's continue on. Our way. Got our Grillo friend now. He was like, oh, I am big and strong. You know, I would, I would name that Grillo Page. Yeah, uh, you know, Pat's wife. Uh, I think that, I think that's her name. Are they are, are they married or are they just boyfriend girlfriend? Uh, Angry as Pat, his wife or girlfriend. And she's always just like, I am big and strong. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. I think she calls herself Peach Saliva. Yeah, I think she calls herself Peach Light. Alright, let's go over here. That should give us a nice, easy ford. Then we can ford the river here. Or we can go up there. Yeah, we need to go around some mountains if we go up that way. So we're going to go around here, actually. We're going to go up this little valley, little river valley, and then we will hopefully be able to go up there. Those are some ninjas. We've got some oily mines. Oily mines, of course. Alright, nice. Now let's go over to Skinner's Realm. No, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. Skinner's Realm, let's go. Let's get out of here, gents. Probably run into some paladines. What are those? Oh, there's dust bandits. If they attack us, they'll die. Take that! We'll check them for loot afterwards! Are you sure about that? Kill that one guy. See so he was dumb enough to actually try it. Kill it! Chop him the bits. Oh man, if only I had my pet gorilla here. <laughs> okay, well. I got it! <laughs> Let's take him. You're coming with us to the Deadlands! Congratulations, you won! Let's go over here. <laughs> Green, where are you going? Green? Green. Okay, well, Green went that way. Green's like that one kid who's like, I'm gonna go my own way! And then, you know, like... You find him on the trail later. He's gonna go all the way around here. You find him on the trail later, half eaten. <laughs> I can do this. And what are you guys? Oh, you're just tech hunters. Tech hunters are cheap. Tech hunters are chill AF. Oh, we can talk to one of them. Well, let's do that. Who are you? Kaishaku. Well, hello, Kaishaku. What do you want? Nothing. Boy. Bye. I, I imagine that some of the tech hunters just, like, walk their way into to the Deadlands. They're just marching around and they eventually just die. <laughs> Okay, so, let's make our way over to the Deadlands. We have our friend here. 
He has lived his best life. And who are you? With. Of the free trade hills. And what are you guys? Escaped servants. Well, they're not a problem. See you dudes later. And now it's the dead land. So let's go over here. Our best friend over here, he's gonna start burning. <laughs> oh, it's a dust boss, too. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> burn, dust boss. Burn. You can see that. You can see the sizzles coming off of him. He's sizzling good. Go, guys. As our guest burns to death. Ooh, you know what we could do? We could build prison cells out here. <laughs> and then lock Greenlanders in check who are uh, who attack us, bandits. Just lock them in prison cells as they slowly melt to death. Like a desert city. We are going there. Uh what? No no, everybody come come back. Let's all run together as our Dust Bandit friend here melts. Let's just... Um, can we outrun that? Yes. Yes, we can. We're good. And there is the scrap house. Is it spiders still after us? No. That's good. How's our friend doing? Ah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it hurts! Alright, well. As he slowly melts to death. Let's see what we can do over here. Are there any properties we can buy in the death in in Black Black Desert City? If there are, I'd like to buy one. Yeah, we can buy one. Well. There's no... Is there roof access? Can you actually get on the roof? I, I don't think you can... Let's go check out this premier property. Where are your feet? We didn't have footless humans back in my day. How's our friend doing? Ah, sizzling good. All right. Um, you go in there, and I want you to uh, show me what's in there. Okay, not too bad. Alright, so that's how you get up there. That's nice. Roof access? Ooh, maybe. Alright, can we actually build things on the roof? Because we're in a city full of skeletons who are probably complete... who probably just destruct... They're probably just killing machines. So let's see. Um, can we build things on the roof? Yeah, actually. You can. They, also, they sort of float up there. But you can totally build things up here. Sort of in the middle. These don't seem to work particularly well in some ways. But yeah, you can build stuff on the roof. Let's see. What about that? That one's private. That one's public. Private. I think it's if it has any kind of stuff on the roof, then it's going to be private. Okay. I mean, we could buy it. We could have somebody stay here. And, like, I, I don't know what Black Desert City likes to buy. But, um, he could make hydroponics. Ooh, it could be a skeleton. That's what we could do. It could be Sad Neil. 
We can make <laughs> we can make him a skeleton, and then he just sits here and creates uh, like an infinite supply of hash, and then we just carry that hash over to the UC and sell it in bath, sell it in mass. That would work. Now I think now what's funny about this is I think acid rain technically waters your hydroponics. If you get more, I'm going with that. And so, <laughs> and so he can just sit there. It's always watered. Never has to do anything. He just farms constantly forever, and um, then makes it into hash. And then, you know, he's good. He's got this. Makes it into fabric. Makes it into ash. Hash. We can go get a um, a. Scorchlander, I guess, and have him be our armor, or we can have another robot be our armor so we don't have to feed him. He can make armor forever. Get everybody outfitted in masterwork armor. Be great. Buy it. Thank you. It's ours. We can get our we can put a prison cell up here just for that one person. Okay. So, what can we actually put up here? Ooh, campfires. Campfires up there. Hmm. Yeah, rain collectors don't work anymore. At least not in this and not in this biome. They fixed that. So that won't work. There's no well water here. None that we can drink, at least. But we can put hydroponics up there, and it's technically rain. I think. Let's have all of these. That's nice. And for Lloyds. You want me to feed on your inner goo? Why? It would be my pleasure. Just wait here for a while while I, while I find my goose scoop. You're weird. Also, wait. How much time has eluded us to witness this new breed of human? Too much, my friends. Too much. Oh. Oh, I see. If you accidentally hit... Um... One of the speed controls. You can't repause it. Gotcha. Hmm. Could put a small wind generator. How much power does this place have? How much power do you generate? Oh, you have tons of power. 280. So you're pretty much just fine on terms of power. I don't need to do anything. Hmm. Where can I put defenses? Oh, I can put them in a lot of places, actually. I mean, this place is never going to get attacked, but I could put them in a lot of places. I have a feeling this is like a prototype. Yeah, it's a wall house, so I have a feeling that they, like, had this in there originally and then they got rid of it because it was either too good or people were making, like, these really nice walls or something, and I don't know. Let's see. Power, storage, all kinds of good stuff. Actually, here's my question. Can I put a research bench in here? Oh, just barely you can fit one in there. You would have to put it on like the probably the second floor? No, it would definitely have to be on the first floor. If even if it's even possible. Okay, let's see. That might be why this building is not necessarily available. Yeah. 
That that makes perfect sense to me. That's why you can't build this building. Just stuff doesn't fit in it. Okay, well that's fine. Time flows quickly when you live in a bubble of lost time. How's our uh, friend here? <laughs> he's um cooking. That's how he's doing. He's spicy. Okay, well, let's go over here. And we're gonna take our spicy friend and actually, you know what we should do? We should make sure that uh, if he ever tries to leave, he's going to have some pretty significant problems. So then, I want you to open up his inventory. We should take all of his stuff, immediately throw them on the ground. Ah, yes. So now, how's he doing? Oh, you know, he's he's cooking. And if we put him down, he'll probably cook way faster. He'll be crawling his way in the acid, the acid ground, acid dirt. All right, choir. Let's go up here. Into the scrape house. Hello, friends. Ah, human customer. How many years has it been? Just look at the state of this place. Welcome, dear you uh, Welcome, dear. Please excuse the mess. Old magazines. All kinds of things. Ooh, ah, yes. Right, so heavy pull arms, those are more slashing damage oriented. I want that even spread of just the normal pull arm. He has a lot of heavy pull arms, which is great. There's a Naganata Katana. So, a Naganata Katana, it has most of the strengths of a Katana, but also most of the weaknesses of a Katana. So, it's worse against robots, it has poor armor penetration. It does do a... it still does some split damage, but not really that much. We have another one over here. Here's a lot of Naganata, Naganata Katanas, actually. Alright, so we have these ancient science books, but I think... We should be fine without those for now. Ashlander Storm Goggles, Eagle's Cross, ooh, baby. Ashland hat, a hinge, all kinds of stuff. Okay, now we ha he has a he has a normal full arm. What is it? A edge type two. Ooh, that's the good stuff. I think I'm going to give that to myself. Now we're gonna take this. That's the MK1. This is we're also gonna give beep. Uh, this one. Now we are poor. What's this one? A Model 3. Alright, well we'll take that. Model 3 as well. We don't have we can't afford that. Well there went there went all of our money. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that one's super expensive. But it's what is it, like one step below the highest possible? So we're going to hit like a truck. We are incredibly dangerous. Okay, we have an MK1. Okay, so here's a Katoon 3. You have a Katoon 3. So we're going to take this one. We're going to... I would like to give it to Beep, but... He doesn't have any room for that, so... Let's see. He has mid-grade salvage. Okay, well we have super ton in it. We have a super weapon now. And, but we don't have any plates. What do we need to build a to build a container over there? I think we need just an iron plates. Well, where did I put my hexel? If you have it's in your hand, Dak. <laughs> Where are their feet? <laughs> Did they get burned off? 
Okay, okay. There was a time long ago when I decided to leave here and explore a new life. It was disappoint it was a disappointing time. I bet it was very disappointing, soul crushing even. You poor, poor people. Now Alright, everyone come over here. Let's see. We need some storage. So we're gonna go with storage boxes. Storage boxes, yeah. We're gonna slap that down right over here. Cool. How what do I need? Yeah, okay. The mod is probably broken. Okay, so we moved the mod around a little bit, and everything seems to be working. Our friend is still here, still cooking. We need a building materials. One building materials. Um, I doubt there's a general shop around here. There's the bar. Where do you think Catlon is now? No idea. Too much gas. Nothing that I need. You just have fuel and grog. That's nice. We'll have to probably steal a building material from somewhere. Um, let's see. Skeleton storage. Public. 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 What about you? Robotic shop. Maybe you've got something I could use. Yellow. Yeah, he's got a bunch of stuff. Nice. Oh, there you are. Kill them! Not every day I get a human customer. But I'm sure I've got plenty of parts that you pitch you. Fine indeed. Oh, yes, I did travel here all the way for your expertise. Show what you got. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Skeleton storage. What's this? Armor plates. Storage chests. A small generator. Oh, those are nice. Oh, he's sleeping over there, is he? Unsure. Yeah. What is this? Privates? Um, well, what's. Let's walk in. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, I'm sorry, you know. Uh, that's copper. <laughs> that's storage boxes. Anything in there? Um, hmm, no, not really. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Was it my intent? Sorry about that. Okay, Fed. This is very important. This guy's arms and legs are pretty much gone at this point. Well, he's not... They're not gone yet. Who are you? Splinter. Hmm? Alright, Chip, what's your stealth? 21, ours is 85. Right, I'm gonna put this guy down. <laughs> Beep, can you come pick him up? Now, I need to uh, take off that, because that gets in the way of my sneakiness. He only seemed to care. Okay, let's disappear. Excellent. Beep's holding this guy. Beep, I want you to come over here and stand Right over here, so you can keep this guy's attention. That would be fantastic. Hello? Hello. Cool. Um, hmm. Well, I'm in plain view of people. Disappear. And, uh, right, I need to go up here, I think. Excellent. We have disappeared. And I need to find a building material. Everything's empty, though. 
Oh, there might be something in the large basket. Not something I need, though. I can use this to trade my lock pickings. Do it. Let's hope nobody comes in here. Excellent. Nothing I need. How about that? Nothing I need. How about this? Excellent. Nothing I need. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, start saying random things in... What is that, Russian? I think yet is the Russian for no? I'm guessing. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh no. <laughs> this guy cooks. Last tube street light, nice. Huh. Alright, I need everybody except for Finn to come over here. Maybe we can get his attention. Hi friends. Damn it. Let's see what's in there. Nothing. Nothing. Right, how's he doing? Still standing there? Oh goody. He has uh he's luck. That's fantastic. But I need a building supply. Just one though. I'll happily pay you for it. <laughs> if you want me to pay you for it, I will pay you for it. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's go pick that lock. Get a uh, thievery up. Excellent. The only problem is... If we steal it that way, it's not just laying around, they can catch us more easily. Bit problematic. <gasps> Finally, okay. We have a thirty-one. We have a thirty-eight percent chance to steal it. Let's just save scum. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's take it. D Damn it! Take it. Got it. Fantastic. Cook. Okay. Fine. Here's the plan. You're going to run all the way over there. Everyone else except for you is going to run all the way over there. Yep. Run! Zoom zoom! <laughs> no, no. You guys don't... You guys don't fight anything. Oh. I know they're actors. <laughs> I don't really want to, to kill the skeletons, though. That's the thing. So we're just going to load this. We're going to try it again. Eventually it will work. I don't think the scrap house sells any supplies, and there's no general store here, and I just need one building supply so I can swap around items. Okay, it worked. Okay, work on that. Everyone, let's go work on this. Let's do it. Cool. <laughs> Finally. Works.
we might need everyone to swap some stuff. So, right. So that one's gonna go to us. This one goes to Beep. 62, and this one goes to Beep. This one goes to our third chip. Okay, so we have MK, MK1, number three. Yeah, we have two number threes. We have an old refitted blade. We're just going to put that down there. We have a lot of old refitted blades and some mid-grade salvage. So, you're going to get this one, then you, then you. Refitted blades are better than the mid-grade scrap. So these will just remain here until uh, forever. <laughs> okay, that worked. Let's quick save just in case something crashes. And uh, yeah, there's no, there are no general shops here, and no one sells any of that stuff. It's a bit problematic. What's in here? Rabbit, you can't be in here. Okay, stoned. No worries. Let's go. Let's make our way over to the United Cities. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. We're probably going to go bounty hunting to an extent. Our weapons now work. We, we, well, we now have good weapons. Um, oh, that's right. We needed... But we're going to go find some places to raid, I guess. So we have tons and tons and tons of money. I mean, tons and tons and tons of food. We could go back to the Fog Islands if we need more money. We could go to the swamps and pretty much just carry around infinite hash at this point and then go to the UC to the south and just sell it for absurd amounts of money. That wouldn't necessarily work right now, though, because we only have 10,000 10, cats. Um... An easy way to get an extra 10,000 cats is the, um, murderize the, the Dust King. That could work. I'm trying to think of ways we can make more money really, really quickly. Uh, I think the fastest way to make more money is going to be going, is going to be to go back to the Fog Islands and kill more heavies. That seems to be optimal. Then we can come back here and sell tons of hashish to this guy, to those guys. So that's a thing. So yeah, that's definitely a thing. We won't get Sadneal until we are ready to start hashish production over there. That's when we'll get Sadneal and just have him be a perpetual farmer. <laughs> We we might get uh, we might get one of the ladies from here who can do that and make her one of our farmers, and then we'll have our our band of ten complete monsters, ten ten hyper monsters, ten skeleton monsters. If we have her make if we have her um, be down there by herself though, she would have to cook for herself. That isn't necessarily a big deal. Oh yeah, what's my thievery at? What's my lock picking at now? 36? Maybe we can unlock that. Maybe we can get that lock in that other area. We can also potentially sneak into stack and start robbing them. That'd be hilarious. How's our, how's our buddy doing? It's like I'm screaming in agony. <laughs> All right, I should probably I should probably get dressed again. All right, let's be let, let's put our buddy down. Let's put him down, beep. <laughs> we oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. It's a wonderful idea. He'll hate it. Oh. 
Can we not get to him? It's had a wonderful idea, and I just need to pick him up. Oh no! <laughs> Let on. Here's the plan. I want you to pick up. I want you to pick me up. I want you to like go and get over here as much as you can. We'll reload if we absolutely have to. I don't want to. Okay, now put me down. Yeah, I, I, I think he's. Uh, I don't think we can do what we want. So we're gonna hook. Load. Because nothing really happened. And then we're going to go do the thing we were thinking about doing, which will be hilarious. We can test to see how much damage humanoids take when they're raiding you. Oh, yeah, we should probably put these on. Now we can quick save. Now let's go find a body of water. A body of water. I mean, that'll work. Let's go over there. Chip, what you doing? We're going over here, Chip. We don't even need to go over there. We just need to come over here. Alright, Beep. Put him down. And I'm gonna pick him up. Now, let's go into the water. And let's let him swim. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's going down real fast. His unconscious recovery go on. Oh man, he burns fast when he's in the water. Yeesh. Anytime now. And date. <laughs> Take that. Then once he's dead, he stops taking any kind of damage. Alright, sounds good. Well, that was fun. We just murderized that guy for no reason. Other than we could. Um, let's go over to... Let's head over to Stack. This ought to be great. What could go wrong? We just we just murdered that guy. <laughs> but he was a bandit, so no one cares. Okay, so let's see. So this uh pull arms. So pull arms this is probably one of the best weapons in the game for the majority of the game. So pull arms. Uh, they are pretty much viable right from the beginning of the game, as we've been using them from the beginning of the game. The other thing is, what makes them, what makes the pole arm really fantastic, is that it does about equal strength and dex damage, which means it scales about equally from your strength and your dexterity. Now, this is fantastic for one major reason: when you hit an enemy, they're this is basically one of the better general use weapons in the game. So when you hit an enemy, it doesn't really matter if they're blunt, if they are wearing armor or not wearing armor. You'll still do a decent amount to damage them anyway. So you don't have to so you can just go get the best pull arms that you can find, and you should be fine. Now, if you go with heavy weapons, now th there's another thing to this. Pull arms, so this weighs 11 kilograms. That means is I need a strength of 22 to wield it effectively. Okay. My strength is higher now. And I don't think it tells me what the required strength to use this is. But I mean, usually it's weapons weight times two. So that means I need a strength of 22 to wield this effectively. If we compare that to something like a high-end, uh, what is it, a Falling Sun or something? If we compare it to that, its strength requirement is like 80. 
So what that means is as you take damage, your stats go down. So if we look at uh, our dead friend over here, wherever he is, if he hasn't already just despawned, he might have already despawned. Lost. Wait. No, I think he's. I think he's melted. <laughs> huh? Wait. Wait. I think I saw something. Oh uh, no, it's probably just this popping up. But as an enemy takes damage, their stats go down. They become less effective at actually fighting. This is important because that means that that falling sun you're using, or whatever it is, as you take damage, you will become less proficient with it. The problem is that when you are slowly swinging a weapon, if somebody can finish their blocking animation, then they have a chance to block. If they don't finish that blocking animation, they have a chance to dodge. I think. They have to dodge the attack. Or it just automatically hits. One of the two. That's it. Now, as you can probably imagine, this is a bit of a problem. If you are... Oh yeah, that's probably inhabited. So this is, part of a, this is a bit of a problem if you're fighting a high-end enemy, because if you're fighting a high-end enemy, they'll have a really good chance to block. And a really good chance to block the majority of the time. So, you'll go from being able to hit them re re reliably, or even having a chance to hit them, to having no chance. Or having like maybe a 5% chance to hit them, or something like that. So, you want weapons that are fast. You want weapons that aren't going to have this incredibly high strength requirement that very quickly gets knocked down. Let's uh let's sneak. Let's sneaky break. I want I want to look in here and see if there's anything there. Yeah. So there's one enemy over there. And there's another enemy over here. So there's at least two of them. They're not particularly strong. We can most likely take them down. What are they guarding? Oh wait, there's a third, third one. I remember your, your camera isn't all seeing eyes. So there's three of them. Okay, so our armor has pretty good harpoon resistance. Yeah, it's like uh, 80 points for me. For everyone else, it's lower. It's like 50. 35 for the standard grades. So, we hopefully won't get one-shotted by things, by these guys as we come in. But at the same time, Let's come up, let's quick save, just in case things go horribly wrong. And I'm going to have everyone engage these guys. Let's attack all. Now, Fen, I want you to attack that guy. And Beep, I want you to attack that guy. Let's see, there's three of them. I think there's three of them. There's probably way more. Where's Ogeo? There. I'm gonna have you guys come after us. Okay, so he's most likely aiming at us soon. Most likely will be aiming at us. As we come charging in. Alright, he fired, he missed. Chip, I want you to come after this guy. You guys just focus on him. Take him down. Okay. 
Good. We've taken him off of that. That's good. It's not, like, auto-firing, so... Giga Chad Beep is over here attacking this guy. Good. Okay, yeah. He's using a pull arm. And everybody else is jumping that guy. That's good. Take him down. Kill him, guys. Cut them to bits. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Look at this guy. He's got a fragment axe. Let's just take that so that we can then throw it on the ground. Because we don't want him to have it. And this guy isn't down yet. How's Beep doing? Taking him on. Oh yeah. He's, he's super screwed. Ah, but that's uh, one thing that happens too, is if you have heavy weapons, their swing can hit multiple people. So, keep in mind that. Okay, let's take that. Let's take this Fragment Axe. I would like to put it in our inventory or something, but nothing can hold it, so it goes on the ground. Now, who's that? Firebone? Alright. You pick him up. No! Don't touch that! That is a fine Fragment Axe. I'd like to sell it. So let's give this to Green. Let's have her get over here. You give this to Green. And now you pick up that fragment dot. Excel. Whew, what about the other guy? So we took these guys down. That's good. He's merely playing dead. Let's pick him up so he can't get up. And Firebone, I want you to pick him up as well. Oh. He's rebooting. Firebone, what are you doing? He's already carrying someone. You're carrying something. You're not. So you pick him up. Nice. Now let's see what he's got. I mean, it's, it's worth money. Okay, let's see. We're going to give the... We have three swords that we want to keep. Okay, so that means you. Let's give that to... Where is Kuar? Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Well, don't worry, we'll fix that. Um, Alright, so you'll pick up this other axe instead. Other guy's axe. On second thought, we can just go here and we're going to quick save because the game is as is so often the case here. Somewhat bugged. In Kenshi, you kind of have to work your way around the bugs. It's kind of, it's not weird or anything, it's just sometimes you have to um, figure out how to make it work. Now room for that item and acquire. Right. Let's loot that guy. Let's take this and that. Very nice. So they are all now uh, preoccupied. So let's go loot everything. We uh, we can't disable that. We can have these guys man it though. I think. I think they can man it while carrying a body. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. He's carrying someone. Yeah, you go ahead and man this turret. And then Thok, you man this turret. And I'm going to start unlocking stuff. Alright, let's do this. Now this is a level 67. Our skill is going to skyrocket. By the time we're done with that. Nice. So we have a hacker. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. 